Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce recurring payments and subscription plugin. Now this particular plugin helps the admin to manage subscription and recurring payments for the products. The admin can add subscription type of a product under the add product section and can add the subscription plan information for the product which includes duration title, duration, subscription title, subscription description, initial or the one-time fee, uh, can set the subscription charge as required and can also set up the trial days uh, can be set up for the subscription product there. On the other hand, on the product page, the customers can view the subscription plan with a subscribe now button as you can see right now on your screens there. Here, two payment methods, PayPal, PayPal uh, recurring payments and the Stripe recurring payment methods have been used. Uh, that allow the customers to purchase the subscription product. The admin can also view the subscription details and can create the duration type which is used when setting up a subscription plan for the subscription product type there. So all in all this particular plugin allows the admin to enable or disable the recurring payments. The admin can manage the PayPal recurring payments. Admin can view and unsubscribe customer subscriptions. Customers can view and unsubscribe to their subscriptions. The plugin supports online Stripe and PayPal recurring payments. The admin can set the subscription amount and the subscription initial fee uh, product wise. The admin can manage the duration and the customers can cancel their subscriptions as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the customer workflow wherein I'll be showing you how to purchase a subscription product. Uh, then we'll be seeing how to add a subscription product and how to add the subscription plan to a product at the admin's end and the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin that's the laravel e-commerce recurring payments and subscription plugin but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that i'm at the storefront and uh, here i'm on one of the uh, subscription products that I've created so this is just a demo uh, purpose uh, product that I've created right now for the demonstration there so here I've created the Amazon Prime subscription and the price is hundred dollars there and here you can see the subscription plan that has the title description the uh, option for the customers to choose the start date the subscribe now button here we have the initial fees or the one-time fee that needs to be paid by the customer the trial days if any set up by the admin day admin there and the subscription charge uh, on a monthly basis if the particular uh, one is based on monthly basis there so the duration type can be created by the admin from the backend panel and accordingly those duration types would be applicable on the subscription products there so uh, there can also be multiple subscription plans on a single subscription product as well but for uh, this demo purpose i've just added one uh, single one of, that's on the monthly basis so now let me show you uh, how the uh, cus how to purchase a subscription product from the customer's perspective so what i need to do is i just need to tap here on the start date now here you can see that the trial days is seven so if i choose it as three uh, the third of this month one two three four five six seven now the subscription charge would be applicable then from the 10th of this month because we have seven days in trial there otherwise if i choose it as the second then the subscription would start from the 9th and the subscription charge of 100 dollars would be uh, deducted from the account on the particular monthly basis on the 9th of each month there so let's select it as second and i'll tap here on the subscribe now button so the particular uh, per subscription product would be added into the cart as you can see the quantity is one and the price is hundred dollars let's tap here on the checkout button we'll be navigated to the checkout here we have to select the address so i've selected the address let me enter the telephone number now here you can see that for for the subscription uh, products we have provided the stripe recurring payment and the paypal recurring payment uh, there so these need to be configured in the admin backend panel so i'll be showing you that as well in a while from now when we'll be checking out the backend configuration of this uh, particular plugin itself so right now i'll be choosing this time per recurring payment 
half of making the payment I will scroll down here's the Amazon Prime subscription $100 one quantity the payment method is Stripe recurring payment method the initial fee or the one-time fee is $30 and the subtotal is $100 and the grand total is $130 there now let's tap here on the place order button now we'll be redirected to the Stripe payment gateway and we'll be able to see the details of the payment there what needs to be paid there so here you can see that uh, uh, here you can see that after your trial ends you will be charged hundred dollars per month starting May 9th as I had shown you because we had chosen the start date as the second seven days are in the trial period after seven we have ninth so from the ninth we'll be charged hundred dollar per month as per the uh, duration cycle there so here you can see that we have to pay the initial fee for the particular subscription product that's for thirty dollars and then we have to pay hundred dollar per month initial fee per month is thirty uh, or the uh, or what we say as the uh, uh, the what is this uh, called as the initial fee basically and uh, monthly here we can see that we have seven days free and after that per month uh, there would be a deduction of hundred dollars uh, charge so let's go ahead and let's uh, enter the details here for the card information so i'll just go ahead with the test card there and i'll enter the details of the same i'll enter my expiry date for the card my cvc number I'll enter the name on the card and I'll tap here on the pay and start trial. After tapping here on the pay and uh, start trial, you can see that the payment has been confirmed there. We have a green icon and we'll be redirected back that uh, for the order number two has been successfully placed for the subscription product there. Now, if I want, I can go to my order section. I can check the order number two for one thirty dollars. I can view the details of the same. The subscription was subscribed. The start date is second. The initial fee was thirty dollars, right? Uh, grand total is one thirty. Total paid is thirty dollar. Only the initial fee. Total due is hundred dollar. That would be starting on the ninth of the uh, month there. Here you can see that the subtotal is $100, initial fee is $30, trial days is till the 9th of the month and after on starting from the 9th, uh, $100 would be debited from the uh, account there. The payment method is Stripe recurring payment method. Now if I go to the subscription section under my profile section, I'll be able to read the particular subscription details of the subscription that I've just uh, done. So here we are having Amazon Prime subscription, subscription ties as we have subscribed, this state is active. We can view the status and we can want if you want, we can cancel the subscription as well by tapping here on the unsubscribe button there. To view the status, I can tap here on the view button. And here I can see the subscription type is monthly, start date is second of the month, uh, the product name, the status and the reference profile ID details are there as well. Now the same way we can use the other payment method as well, that's the PayPal recurring payments as well. Uh, so for that, let's uh, check it out as well. So I'll just go to the homepage there. Here I'll find some of the recurring payments, uh, subscription products basically with the recurring payment options. So here we have the Netflix for example I've created uh here i'll choose it be choosing the start date i'll choose the start date of the second of this month here you can see that the initial fee is ten dollars trial day is two days subscription charge is thirty dollars let's tap here on the subscribe button the product has been added to the cart let's make a check out there so here i'll be choosing my address details my telephone number and then I'll be choosing PayPal recurring payment method. I'll scroll down. $30 needs to be paid there. Initial fee is uh, $10. $30 is the subscription fee. Uh, that is a recurring one on monthly basis. Let's tap here on the place order button. 
will be redirected to the PayPal website there. So we have to enter the details here uh, for the customer PayPal account. After entering the details, I'll tap here on the login button. And after that, I will be adding my credit or debit uh, card details there. So uh, let the page come up. So I'll just go ahead and I'll tap here on the add a debit card. Now let me add the debit card details here. I've added the details here. Let me tap here on the add button. And after tapping on the add button, uh, you can see that the card has been added here. Now let me scroll down. Let me agree and continue. So here you can see the initial fee is 10 and the subscription charge is $30 has been placed there using the PayPal recurring payment method there itself. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how to add a subscription product and how to add the subscription plan to a product. So for that we'll be logging into the admin backend panel of Bugisto by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button. Thereafter, we need to navigate to catalog. So to add a subscription product here, you can see that we have already added the two subscription products that we had created the demo for the demo purposes there. One was Netflix subscription and the Amazon Prime subscription. So to add a new subscription product, you need to tap here on the add product button. And from the product type, you need to choose subscription, choose the attribute family and set the uh, SKU for the product and then tap on the save product, right? So you have to remember to select the product type as subscription there. Now I've already added a uh, few pro subscription products there. So let's edit them up and let's see what different uh, details are there. So after you select the product type, you save the product. You will see the edit product page here. You have to f enter the product name, name. You can set the URL key uh, then on the product page, uh, you have one section with the name subscription information. Here you can add multiple product, uh, multiple plans for this subscription product. So you have to make the subscription as active and then set up the duration title. Now this duration title comes from the duration types here on the left hand side. If you see here we have the duration types. If I tap here on the duration types, I'll be able to see the duration types that I've created like daily, monthly basis. If I want, I can add multiple duration types as well. So to add, I have to enter the title, set the duration uh, in days, set the status as active or inactive, set the sort order and then tap on the save button, right? Uh, and according to that, the duration types would be created. Right now, I've created two duration type. One is daily basis with duration one day. One is duration with 30 days on monthly basis. You can go with six monthly or yearly basis as well as for the requirement there. Now coming back to the products, if I edit the product there or the subscription product, once again, uh, I have to come to the subscription information uh, section there. So we'll scroll down. So here I've chosen the, the duration as monthly basis. The duration is 30 days. The subscription title has been set. The subscription description has been set that it's on the monthly basis. Initial fee or the one time fee has been set up. The subscription charge has been added. This is the monthly subscription charge depending upon the duration uh, there. What you have selected here, uh, depending upon the duration, the subscription charge would be applicable according to the duration there. Here we have the trial days depending upon the number of trial days uh, the customers can get the trial days as well for the subscription uh, product and uh, whenever the subscription gets started on from that day the subscription charge would be deducted from their account itself right so this is how you can add the uh, add a subscription product and that's how you can add the subscription plan to a particular product now let me show you the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin to make the initial configuration settings, uh, we have to navigate to the settings option in the bottom left hand corner and then we have the recurring payments. Here you have to enable the uh, recurring payments uh, for the subscription products by enabling this uh, module as uh, by toggling this button to enable and you have to set the email notifications uh, to yes. Now after that uh, to make the initial configuration settings for the payment methods or the recurring payment methods you have to navigate to sales. Under sales you have to go to payment methods under payment methods you have to scroll down to 
you have to scroll down to the recurring stripe payment and the recurring paypal payment method now if you want to provide the normal paypal method to for your simple products then you can uh, configure the paypal details there and then the customers if uh, want to choose a uh, a payment method for the simple products then they can go with the normal paypal payment method otherwise for the subscription products you have to configure the recurring stripe payment and the recurring paypal payment payment methods there so for the recurring stripe payment you have to make it as active set up the title that would be visible at the checkout to the customers set up the mode as uh, testing or the sandbox mode or the production mode for production mode you have to disable this option and then enter the client id api publishable keys api secret key web keys set the name to display on the form and can set the sort order for this payment method there now these uh, details can be fetched uh, after you have created your account with the stripe itself you'll be able to get the client id api publishable keys api secret key and the web hooks as well now coming to the recurring payment uh, recurring paypal payment here you have to make it as active set the uh, title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time uh, make the mode as production mode or testing mode set up the merchant paypal id paypal api username paypal api password and the api signature here and after configuring these details you need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings there all right so yes that was much about the uh, laravel e-commerce recurring payments and subscription plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow at the customers and how the customers can purchase a subscription product how the admin can add a subscription product and how to add the subscription plan to a particular product and the initial configuration settings to enable or disable this functionality within your store and how to configure the uh, payment methods that are the recurring payment methods for the stripe and the paypal itself if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead